Hi everyone, my name is Francesca Ferrando. I teach philosophy here at NYU, Program of Liberal Studies, and I am very honored to share with you this mini course on how to write a paper. And of course, the A is how to write a paper that is going to be an A or an A+. Plus. So we're going to address six different topics through six different videos. In the first one, we're going to address the question, why are we writing this paper? And this is a fundamental question. And the answer cannot be because I have an assignment. The answer has to be much deeper than that to write a good paper that is going to be an A or an A+. In the second video, we are going to be addressing the what. What is your argument? Without a good argument, there is no A for any type of paper. Without a good argument, there is not uh, any uh, approval for a job proposal or for a project. You need to have a clear argument, whatever is what you are writing. What is your argument? The third one is who. Who is your audience? This is fundamental because in any type of writing, Writing is not a monologue. This is not a private diary that you're writing. You are in dialogue with someone. Who is this someone? Make sure that this is very clear so that you will know what is the kind of tone that you need to write the paper. We are also addressing the question when. What, what are your sources? What are your references? Where are you locating your argument, for instance, in the history of philosophy? in uh, uh, the case of my students, or in the history of biology, if that is what you're writing about, or in the history of technology, or what, what's, what's, what's whatever. Where are you locating your paper? And this should be very clear because papers are never just coming out of nowhere. In academia, it's very important that you acknowledge your roots. Without good roots, there is no strong trees. So you need to have very clear where are you locating your paper. The fifth uh, video is where, is about the architecture of your paper. There is no paper that is a good paper with a very uh, bad architecture, where you know there is confusion, where maybe you talk about a little bit of a topic here and there, and uh, you need a clear structure. You need a good structure, like any building. If a building that doesn't have a good structure, eventually it's going to fall. You don't want that to happen to your paper. So take your structure very seriously. Lay, take your stru structure as, a, uh, as, a, as an envisioning, as a work of care and labor, and put your, your work towards having a very clear structure. And lastly is how. How are you writing? What kind of tone do you need to write a good paper? So for instance, if in the structure of your paper you want to have a very clear introduction, a very good title, the title are fundamental to catch your audience, and you would like to have an introduction, you have, want to have a good development with subtopics, and then you have, want to have a very inspiring conclusion where you show that you were successful at proving your argument. The same goes with the tone that you are going to be using in this paper. So for instance, in this video, I recommend sometimes to use personal experience and make them universal. Give them as a gift if you're ready to share them for some teachings, not to complain, but to teach something about the human species or to change something. Uh, also, it's very important to understand that you are not writing a text message. This is formal writing, so bring elegance, bring sentences that are not too short or too long. So it is a work of love, it is a work of care. Writing a paper is really a, an art that you can really refine. In order to refine this art, I'm also going to offer you exercises. There are going to be six very easy exercises to get you really ready and confident and inspired to write the paper that everyone wants to read, that your teacher is going to be proud of you, that you are going to be proud of you, and that you can read 10 years later and still be excited about that specific topic. So again, do not waste your time writing a something about, uh, about something that you are not interested in. Make sure to choose a topic that makes you passionate, doesn't, doesn't need something that you, that you agree on, maybe something that you disagree, but something that moves you. And make sure that it is a paper that would be uh, read, that you can inspire other people through your writing. Words are power, powerful. 
in, uh, in this society, a lot of people take the time to read. They read on the internet, they read on, uh, on, on books. People read, and you can really bring your voice out through wording. And these words are going to be here for a long time. And I want to bring the example of Friedrich Nietzsche, a philosopher that I really love. And Friedrich Nietzsche was aware that he was not writing for the people of his own time because he knew that the message that he was giving was not going to be understood by his own generation. So he wrote for the future, and he was right. Eventually, he became, long after his death, he became one of the most important philosophers in the tradition of continental philosophy. So be aware that your words are precious, that your vision is precious, and that we all want to know about it. So thank you so much. Enjoy the process and trust the process of writing. Thank you so much.